What's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. My name's Chase. This is That Sounds Terrible. And today we're going to talk about preamps from Black Lion Audio. Now, they make some incredible products. All right. I have several products from them. I have three different power conditioners. We have a PGX. The PGX covers all of my desktop outboard gear, uh, all my compressors, audio interface, and things alike. I, over here on my sidecar, I have the PG2. Now, the PG2 is a phenomenal two unit rack power conditioner. Uh, we've got USB ports on the front, two power outlets. It tells me my voltage and my amperage. All of my hardware, as far as my computer monitors, power conditioner, or uh, you know, studio lights and stuff like that, all of that is plugged in to my PG2. Behind me over here, you can see is my PG1. Now this covers all of my amps. So every amp that I play through goes into my PG1. Uh, the PG-1 is a slimmed down version of the PG-2, and it's an upgrade over my PG-X. So we've got three phenomenal power conditioners. And then the best preamp that I've ever owned is the Ator Mark II. This was one of the first pieces of outboard gear that I bought for mic preamps, and this thing is an absolute beast. Uh, I couldn't tell you how much I love this thing. It's extremely transparent. It's extremely clean. Two channels of solid power, all right? So I had that about five years now, going on five years. And anyways, about two and a half, three years into it, uh, I decided to upgrade and buy the Ator Quad, which is a four-channel uh, preamp. And it's, again, it's a powerhouse. That thing is clean. It's transparent. It allows, to, it allows the microphone to really showcase what it's hearing, all right? So it's not coloring your signal. There's nothing to adjust on it. Uh, you've got your pad, uh, 10 dB pad. It's got UV meters for each channel so you can see what your levels are. Uh, 48 volt phantom power, your, your uh, phase inverter. In channel one and two, this was kind of the main reason I really went to it was um, channels one and two has a quarter inch TRS high impedance input. So I could plug my guitar into it, uh, into the high impedance, switch it over and run that into my interface. And this way I can make sure that my level has plenty of gain for that DI signal. So that's a huge thing. Uh, so your first two channels have the DI inputs, uh, and then you have two other channels. So a four channel and a two channel mic preamp. Black Lion Audio makes great products. I have no major complaints at all with any of the products I've had, except for one. And uh, I speak so highly of this company, um, and we'll get to the one I had a problem with in a minute, but I speak very highly of this company. Uh, like I said, the Bluey compressor is probably one of my favorites that they make. Um, I am actually looking at upgrading to a 500 series and I'm gonna try to buy the Bluey 500 series uh, for my my compressor. Um, you know, that's, that's my goal for 2024, uh, possibly into early next year. There's just something about that that compressor. It sounds really good to me. And uh, so anyways, that's that's my goal, but uh, truck driver Sean, for example, he bought three of the PG2 power conditioners for his home studio. So he's got three of those and they're not cheap, man. So like, just to kind of give you a background, the PGX one unit, the basic bare model uh, is about $200. The PG1 over here, this is uh, 300 and the PG2 are $400. So that you can do the math on that. Uh, the two channel, a tour, I believe is 350 or 400. And the a tour quad is, I think it's $800 uh, at the time of filming for all of that. So I, I've got some money invested, you know, and I'm, and I'm very happy with everything I've purchased except for one item. And that is my tour quad. So a quick backstory and we'll kind of get into what's going on. And it's maybe it's just me. Maybe it was a bad, you know, maybe it was just a bad, uh, a bad day, a bad, uh, the employee had a bad day. I, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, so here's the scenario. Um, so my, my tour Mark two, my Mark two went bad. Something happened to it. I sent it off, uh, to, to black line and, and I paid them to repair it. It was out of warranty. Uh, I'd had it over three years. And uh, so anyways, uh, I paid for the repair and they sent it back to me. It took about 30 days, give or take, no problem. Well, my August of 23, 
August of 2023, my Atur quad went out. Um, channel one, two, three, and four had no volume output. Max out the gain, no output. Channel one had an extremely scratchy pot. I don't know if that was part of it or what happened. Um, uh, but anyways, I lost power or I lost uh, output power on the quad. Had no signal. No matter how much gain I put into it, I had no signal. So uh, it was, you know, whatever. I contacted BLA. They said, hey, look, it's still under warranty. You haven't had it long enough. I bought it uh, in June, July, August of 2022. And so they said, no problem. Send it off. Uh, here's your RMA number. Uh, I get it back. I had it about six months, six, seven months, give or take. And that's when the same issue happened again. All right. So this comes up to about March of 2024 uh, this year. So I sent him another email, said, hey, look, you know, uh, I, I turned my studio back on from coming home from, you know, a weekend off my trip and the same thing. Here was a pop. Um, there's no no output power. There's no audio coming through it. No matter what the gain is, uh, I'd like to get this resolved. And they were like, hey, cool. You know, we're sorry this happened again. No problem. Send it back off. Uh, we'll We'll take care of it. So this is like mid-March, end of March, something like that. Uh, my note on my little dry board says that April 4th, I milled this to Black Lion Audio uh, for repair, and it was covered under the warranty. Um, I got it back, and I'm going to pull the emails up on my phone here. I got it back from repair on May the 3rd. On May 3rd, I got my unit back, but they did not include my power cable. No big deal. Uh, so I sent them an email the day I got it. I uh, said, hey, I received my uh, BLA quadrator back from repair. However, the power supply was not sent back with the unit. Please advise. Um, that was on May 3rd. Uh, I didn't hear anything from anybody for two weeks. Two weeks is uh, May 16th. I actually reached out to their social media team and I asked them. I said, hey, look, man, um, I sent some stuff off for repair. I am trying to find out the status of uh, the missing power cable that was attached to my unit, gave them my RMA number. Um, and I said, is there another way I can contact somebody to get this resolved? You know, I need, I need my power cable. And so anyways, they were like, hey, look, you know, sorry about that. It looks like one's already been sent off to you. Uh, so that was on May May 16th. Or no, I'm sorry. Wait, I take that back. Uh, I had an email sent to them on May 16th. I actually reached out to them on, I don't want to fib here, so I'm going to tell you the accurate dates. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. I got to find it. Uh, I reached out to them on Instagram and they, they you know, they were responsive. They, they reached out. Uh, I actually reached out to them on May 9th. So from May 3rd, when I emailed them at the, the email for their warranty program or their warranty customer support, from May 3rd to May 9th, I didn't hear from anybody. May 9th, I reached out to their uh, social media team. On May 10th, they replied back to me. Uh, they said, hey, it looks like a new PSU has been shipped out to you. May 10th uh, had been shipped out to you. I said, thanks for the update. I was getting worried when I got no reply. They said, sorry about that. Thank you for your patience and best to you. All right, so now we're going to fast forward to May 16th. I said, good morning. I am writing to express my concerns about my Ator quad. Again, I gave my RMA number. I explained how the unit was sent back on May 3rd. I did not get my included power cable. Uh, I replied that day asking for a new one. I explained I had reached out to the social media team um, and I'm looking to get my power cable. This has now become an $800 paperweight. Uh, I don't know about you. Money does not grow on the trees. So... I, I need a power cable, but really trivial. But anyways, so that afternoon, finally, somebody replied. Um, they said, hey, look, we apologize for any inconvenience this may have caused. We have a new power supply unit shipping your way at no charge. Thank you for your patience and understanding. I said, hey, cool. Thanks for the reply. Uh, can I get a tracking number for this? Um, they said, we will provide one to you once it is in transit. I replied and I said, cool, thanks. I said, is this item on back order? Or is this going to be overnighted? Okay, so look, I work in logistics. 
All right, I do this every day, day in, day out, and things happen, and I get that, but I shouldn't have to wait for a product to be in transit to get a tracking number. It's not quite how that works, but whatever. So that was on May 16th. So that is, let me pull my calendar back up. So from May 3rd to May 16th, we're two weeks in uh, and still no power supply. Then on, let me pull up my uh, shipping date here. It was on, all right, sorry, I had to do a little cut and find the uh, the actual delivery date. So um, May 21st, I get a package in the mail after no further communication from the 16th. Um, they finally decided to send me my power cable. The package came from Alto Music. Um, I did not order it. Uh, so I don't know what the correlation is there. This is not about Alto Music by any means, but when the package got here, it was just the power brick. It didn't include the IEC cable. So I had to go out and buy another IEC cable just to be able to use my actual four channel preamp that I already paid for. Uh, so yeah, it's, I'm hoping it was a bad day. And I hope that is not a, a full representation of the customer service I can expect going forward from Black Lion Audio. That's really disheartening. Uh, it's a lot of money invested. And when you start having customer service like that, that's that's unacceptable. No matter what company you are and how big or how small you are, there's, there's no excuse for that. It's a power gable. I just thought you guys should be aware. Uh, I'm not trying to talk bad about the company. I, I fully enjoy a lot of the products that they make. Uh, you know, again, I'm I'm still hoping to buy my Bluey 500 series when I do my upgrades, uh, you know, at the end of the year. And it's just, it's just really unfortunate. You know, maybe it was a disgruntled employee. It was a bad day, but uh, it shouldn't take almost four weeks to get a replacement power cable for a unit that was sent back from repair. Uh, I'm not trying to talk bad about BLA. It's just a bad, a bad situation. At least that's what I'm hoping it was. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you stuck around this long, uh, 